Now, I've been looking forward to hearing this since Solana told us about it over the weekend. So what happened? You went to uh, the Kaseya Center. You got to to have a little uh, one-on-one with Terry Rogier. Yeah, not too long, but did get to sit down. Not long at all. <laughs> if you had to give some sort of guess. Not a lot while, Hawk. Not <laughs> a lot while. <laughs> Did you know I was headed there immediately? Or uh... I've been prepared for it since I told you about this interview. Yeah, I've been prepared for it. Or were you blissfully unaware? Um. So, and now if you want to hear the actual interview regarding the Miami Heat and basketball, you listen to Heat Weekly with Tommy Tig, and they'll have it all. But you kind of what? Took a little minute for yourself at the end of your conversation with Rogier. The thing is, I want to get to know a guy like Terry Rogier. And I think, you know, there's a, a, a part of the interview can be for basketball related questions what he expects of himself coming to and, and joining this team. But I, I want to get to know him, you know, like I, I didn't know much about him other than what you had brought to my attention, which was his family recipe of sugar on top mm. of a spaghetti sandwich. So I kind of just asked him the questions. I thought you guys would ask him to get to know him. All right. So again, you can hear the actual basketball stuff with uh, Tommy Tig on heat weekly. But here's just a little snippet of Solana, Terry Rogier, newest member of the Miami Heat family. Um, we can get it going sometime soon. But Solana came away saying that he's a super nice guy. And I like to know, you know, the I like to know the the silly stuff as well. So here it is. Uh, Solana and Terry Rogier from Sunday. Rapid fire with Terry Rozier here. I want to get to know you. South Floridians want to get to know you. I know you're in Miami a lot. Have you ever had pollo tropical? No, I never heard of that. You've never heard of that? Somebody got to put me on with that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, we definitely got to put you on. That's food. Yeah, it's uh, what's it? it, it, Pollo tropical. I'll I'll say it a little little more green. I got to tell my chef. I got to see what that is. What's uh, what's your favorite restaurant? Favorite? I'll probably just say Prime 112. I'm kind of easy. Okay. I can't afford Prime 112, but Terry <laughs> Rozier, of course, can. Uh, what, what's the last show you watched on Netflix? Uh, Grisilda. I finished it last night. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. No, man. so I'm only, I'm only on the fifth episode right now, Never but thought. I usually run through stuff. I love Cartel, like obviously Pablo, Del Chapo. I, I know you uh, I know you like rap and you're a rapper as well. Jimmy Butler's making a country album. Yeah. Are you gonna try to collab with no, Jimmy? I ain't collabing on a country album, but I'm definitely gonna support. That's 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 dope. I didn't even know that, but yeah, I'm definitely. It's crazy. I had a couple guys uh, come up to me on the team and, and ask me about the rap and stuff, and, and they said they rap. Caleb, Tyler Hero, Kane. So you know, we, you know, we might mess around. Uh, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Terry Rozier, welcome to Miami. Best of luck to you, Thank and you. Uh, looking forward to a, a promising season. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. All right, now I love that. That, I mean, I, I could listen to that kind of stuff for 30 minutes straight. So here's my notes. You said Pollo Tropical way too fast and way too Hispanic. So I understood his, like, he, he didn't know what that was at first. I think if you had said it, Pollo Tropical, he may have known it was a food place. But regardless, he's never been there. Fascinating. Uh, I didn't know he was a rap artist. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Yeah, he's a rap. He raps. He's not a rap artist. Does he go by the name Scary Terry? No. What does he go by? I think it's something to do with Chum, like Chum something. Hmm. Uh, this Griselda, everyone's talking about it on Netflix. That's Sofia Vergara playing the uh, the Miami cocaine kingpin. Yes. You watched it. You loved it. I binged it. I had I had literally just finished it. The night before I interviewed him, so it was pretty uh, coincidental. Unbe- unbelievable. Like Jimmy, just, you're nodding your head. Did awesome. you watch it? It is a crazy show. All right. Crazy. I was thinking about watching it, and we decided not to. Hmm. Wish I had time like that, but I'm a grown up with a responsibility. And then uh, he says he likes Prime One Twelve. Um, that was a good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Very generic. 
Yeah. At least well, give me like I'm Italian with the meatball or something. I mean, he know? just he literally just got here last week. No, like, but you he wanted to have a Miami. favorite. Re- you want him to have a favorite restaurant in Miami? Yeah, he lives in Miami. Oh, he does now, in the off season, which is why I jumped into boiled. It, again, I didn't realize, the, I didn't realize at that. At the beginning yeah. of the interview, he he talks about his time in Miami and why I he loves Miami. It. Right. I got it. Which is why I, I jumped into Pollo Tropical so quickly. I'm like, oh, you must love Pollo Tropical. But I'd never heard of it. I was at an event. The reason I say generic because I was at an event this weekend. And people know you're from here. They want to talk about Miami. And they're like, oh, where should I go eat? So I tell them all the cute stuff, the geckos and the sexy fish and all that crap. And I'll be like, where do I usually eat? And everybody says Prime 112. It's like, I think it's the Miami out. It's Joe's and Prime 112, the two outs. Right. Those are, yeah, and the location, too. Like, you're right there amongst yeah. all the action. So, yes. it makes sense. What were you going to follow up with on Pollo Tropical? Like, what's your favorite dish there? Yeah, I was going to ask him what his go-to order is. We found out Caleb Martin's go-to order at McDonald's, which was like double cheeseburger, uh, chicken McNugget, french fry, whatever. I was genuinely interested, like, what he would order at Pollo Tropical. And if you don't get the Tropa Chops at Boyo Tropical, like, what are you even doing there, right? I disagree. Wholeheartedly disagree with that. Really? Yeah, chicken mm-hmm. wings. At Boyo Tropical? Yep. Mm-hmm. Ten piece. I don't even think they have chicken wings. They do. <laughs> I'm Ten not piece. so certain. <laughs> Ten piece. I, I don't think they do. And if they do, they're not fried. Ten piece. Yeah, I have you been to Boyo Tropical? <laughs> I have, and I got I ordered chicken wings. They're not fried though; they're a little, you know, the, the grill, yeah. just like the other yeah. chicken. Yeah. yeah. Are you nah, sure you're not just getting like like a quarter chicken and half of it's a, a wing? Like half of the quarter <laughs> chicken, which is a chicken wing, is is the wing. So you no, just they're, you, no, their wings are small though. They're like uh, ten piece. I don't think they have a ten piece. I don't go very often. They might have taken it off the menu. But Are you thinking a wing when, stop? When it was by this, there was one by the old station. Yeah. So be honest, that might be the last time I've been to Pollo Tropical was when we were in the other building. So that's years ago. You know ago. what? That place did have fire wings. Thank you. We used to Tim send Tim. interns when we were in the old building, the old 790 building. You were down the street at the 560 building. We used to send interns in the middle of the show to go to that Pollo Tropical. And get like 50 wings. Yep. Because those wings were so flipping good. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that brings me back to a different time. So it was years ago. I don't know what that is. It menu was is now. years ago. I don't think they do them anymore. Oh, okay. But them wings were good as hell. Did you guys see Subway added a foot long pretzel and a foot long churro yeah. and a foot long cookie. Yeah. A sidekick. Yeah. Although when you think about it, a foot's not that long. Like, I think you think like, oh, I'm going to get this foot long cookie. And then you get it like, what is that? The size of a Snickers, maybe? 12 inches. It's like how many inches do you think a Snickers is? Eight, seven, eight. Five. Ten. <laughs> Ten piece. <laughs> no, it's not really that. A foot's not that big. It's not, I think it sounds more grandiose than it is. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't, though. Like, I think everybody's aware you go to Subway, a foot is the length of their sub. Like, the, the length of, of a foot long Oh, sub. you think the foot long cookie is the same length of the, the, <laughs> the foot long No sub? way. But I'm just confused as to why what, you believe what? people are shocked at, at how big a foot actually is. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I think it's just surprising that Subway is like, hey, I think listen. I've been misquoted. <laughs> <laughs> we got them with the foot long sub. You know what's going to blow their mind? Hey. A foot long pretzel. Right. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah. but just give me Just give me pretzel bites. You know, I think Auntie Anne's is, has it figured out. Well, you know, their foot-long pretzel is an Auntie Anne's pretzel. And if you call I hate when you call it Auntie Anne's. It's not the name. It's Auntie Anne's. Uh, I'd say Auntie, too. Auntie, if you're talking about your aunt. But not mm-hmm. if you're talking about Auntie Anne's. That's not the name. 
It's spelled the same way. It's auntie. And I understand that, but I mean, there's Mrs. Fields. You don't, you don't call uh, her. I don't know MRS. <laughs> what? <laughs> I knew I didn't have an argument to formulate there. <laughs> I like getting to know Terry Brogier there. <laughs> MRS Fields. <laughs> Can't believe you go to Pollo Tropical, you don't get the Tropa Chops. Well, here's my thing. The Tropa Chops are delicious, Hawk. They really are. But if I want a rice bowl with chicken, beans, onions, peppers, whatever, I'll go to, to Chicken Kitchen. Because to me, Chicken Kitchen has the best, what is a Tropa Chop, but it's just the original Chop Chop. At Pollo Tropical, I'm going to get like the quarter chicken or the grilled chicken breast, the half chicken, rice, beans. If, I, if I'm in the mood for a rice bowl, I'll just go to get a problem. Is there's no chicken kitchens everywhere. There's there's Pollo Tropical. There probably have to be 50 locations in South Florida. There's yeah. probably like six chicken kitchens. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy? in Kendall, there's, there's like eight chicken kitchens and there's 30. Listen, if, there was, if there was a chicken kitchen by me, that's where I would get it. There's no question. Chicken yeah. Kitchen is far superior to Pollo Tropical. Jimmy, tro- what do you get at what do you get at Pollo Tropical, Jimmy? I probably get the uh, chicken with uh, some beans on there. In a bowl. In a bowl, yes. Tropi so chop. The tropa chops. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, have you been to Pollo Tropical? Because it sounded I like don't you, think so. I have one near my house. You, of just, I have. you just said the most generic Cuban food. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I, I wish I was an attorney, and he was the only guy I ever get to cross examine. <laughs> <laughs> I can get him to agree with anything. So, Jimmy, you get the the rice and the chicken, a Big Mac. Yeah, sure, a Big Mac. That's right, exactly. Uh, Your Honor, I rest my case. <laughs> there he is the McDonald's killer. Your Honor. <laughs> All right, there you go. A little chance to know Terry Rozier. 